Hello guys, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to my project homework. Firstly, let me briefly talk about the basic features and importance of my project. This project is about serial communication between a computer and a microcontroller. And the important thing in serial communication is these devices can communicate with each other simultaneously. If the devices can read messages from each other without any problem, you can do whatever you want. It's up to your imagination. In this video, I will explain serial communication in a simple way with examples. Also, the most important feature of this project is that we will make this communication with the interface written in C language. Now, let's look at the C programming code. As you can see, the necessary libraries have been imported here. And I wrote this one. We'll see it soon. Let's move on. Here is a menu and some other stuff. In this main section, the options entered by the user are taken and used. And so on. Right now, let's look at this. This header file consists of two functions serial write and serial read. Serial read reads data from serial port, and serial write writes data to serial port. That's all. And here you can see some serial port settings for serial communication. Let's continue with other codes on Arduino site. As you can see, pins are configured in the setup section. And similar to C codes, options incoming through the serial port are controlled here. Like that, and so forth. And there are other optional additions at the rest of the code. You can check it out. By the way, you can find all the codes I mentioned in the video in the description section. Now, we can run the program. The program runs on the PC site and uses Win32 API. Welcome to the Serial Communication Program. This is going to be the Technical Universe, the Arduino Lab, Sony Arginish, CSE 101, first photo. And here is the menu, and here are the options. Turn on the light, turn off the light, flash the light three times. Square a number by Arduino. Button press counter, activate the burglar alarm. It's just a prototype. And back to the menu to remember the menu and exit. Now we are done here. It's time to see other features. Hello again. This is the circuit connected to Arduino. And this circuit has four LEDs, two blue and two red. One button, one buzzer, I can take it off. There is one buzzer to make sound and 
as you see one ultrasonic distance sensor. It sends sound signals to detect movements. And here is the circuit. And the communication cable, communication USB cable is here. Now, it's time to run the project. Let's open the program. But first of all, we need to upload Arduino codes to Arduino. Arduino received messages. And now we can open the program. Okay. Firstly, I turn on the LED by pressing 1. Yes. And I turn off the LED by pressing 2. and flush the LED three times, pressing 3. Now, I want to square a number by Arduino. I'm pressing 4. And entering a number, for example, 7. The result is 49. Meanwhile, Arduino received the message and transmitted the square of the number to computer via this cable. Let's try again. For example, 13. Okay, what's the problem? Yes, we need to first uh, select the option, which is 4, and then entering a number. It was my mistake. Okay, the result is 169. And let's try one more time. Let's say 111. Now, Firstly, we need to enter 4 and 111. Okay. Yes. It is correct, believe me. Okay, now I'm pressing 5 to count how many times button is pressed. First of all, Back to the menu and pressing 5. Now I press the button. The numbers on the screen incremented by 1. Okay, the program asks if you want to continue every single 20 press. Let's continue. Let's break. Back to the menu, and it's time to make the alarm active. Okay. Press 6. 
And alarm status is active. Let's try. I'm getting closer and closer. It's pretty cool. Let's try again. I'm getting closer. And yes, it is still active. I said it was cool, but after some time it becomes annoying. Which means it is successful, isn't it? Now I want to make the alarm inactive. So I'm going to press the button. Sorry. My finger is slipped. It is really annoying. Okay. Careful. Press the button. Yes. As you see, alarm status is inactive. Let's try one more time. I'm getting closer. Closer and closer and closer. Yes. It is no longer able to detect moments. Okay, move on. Back to the menu. Yes. That's all. Let's exit. See you guys. Take care of yourself.